Hi guys, and happy Friday. It is Friday when you guys are seeing this video. It's Thursday today, so happy whatever day of the week it is when you're watching this video. Um, I am doing something a little bit different in today's day in the life. Um, I've unplugged the last few days and like took a break from making videos so I could really like brainstorm some good ideas for you guys and try to answer more of your questions that you have. I get so many toddler and baby related questions. So in some of my day in the life videos here across the vlogmas in December, I'm going to share some of those tips with you guys and just kind of talk a little bit more about what my kids' routine is. Um, and I'm going to be sharing like a toddler must-haves video. So I'm very minimalistic when it comes to my toddler products, if you will. Once they turn one, once your baby turns one, I feel like there's so much less that you need. You don't need to carry as much around with you. You don't need to have as much in the house. But there are some certain things that help to make things easier. So anyway, sharing all of those tips and tricks and all of the things this month. Um, to get started with today's video, I am going to start with a weight loss update. I am down 15 pounds in the last three and a half weeks since starting my keto, intermittent fasting, and calorie restriction. I am getting so many questions on it and I love it, I love it because it's working. For me and my body type, it is working wonders and I can like definitely see it in my face in this video, like in the frame, I can definitely see it and I'm feeling so good. Um, I hit a milestone this morning, not just 15 pounds down, but also like I, Every pound after this is the lowest I've been since having babies, and I'm only 10 pounds away from my weight from when I got married. So anyway, I just wanted to include a really quick weight loss update for you guys because I know you're going to be asking. I am just so excited with the results so far. So anyway, all right. Let's get into the first topic of today's video. We're gonna be doing more of like day in the life and I'm gonna be including some tips and tricks. So first topic of the day is my kids' routine. I get a lot of questions on this and like what my routine is. And I've kind of showed you guys this. I did a 24 hour in the life, but it was a weekend video. And you guys wanna know what it looks like working from home now and how things have changed since I quit my nine to five job. So. In a nutshell, for those of you who are new, I used to work. You'll see a lot of videos on my channel are a working mom or working mom routine, day in the life of a working mom. I'm still a working mom. That has not changed. I just don't go to my nine to five anymore because we have side businesses that we've built up. <laughs> my husband's texting me. Um, we've had, we've had like YouTube and then we also have M&M Rustics, which we've built up over the past six years, YouTube over the past two years. So I'm able to now stay home and work from home, but I work more now than I ever did when I was working my nine to five job. So in a nutshell, um, in my nine to five job, if you're wondering, if you haven't seen any of my working like day in the life videos, um, I, sorry, I've got the Santa Claus going on in the background, it's so loud. I am going to pause that real quick, hang on. Okay, that is way better. <laughs> it was like blaring in the background. Anyway, so I used to be an accountant and I was so for about eight years um, and I worked um, ever since I had Kaya, I was the working mom. Mike gets up at five in the morning and he has had the same job since we had Kaya. So our routine has always generally been the same. So when I had Kaya, I was in charge of bringing her to daycare and picking her up every single day. And then as we evolved in our m, &M Rustics business, Mike would work out in the shop at night and then I would take care of the kids or at the time when we had just Kaya, um, I would be inside with the kid or kids um, while he was working out in the shop and then he would join at like the bedtime routine and dinner and things like that. So I've always kind of been in charge of like the kid stuff and Mike would, you know, help me on the weekends or whenever he could in between like like his two jobs, if you will. Um, now, and when when it came to our side businesses and my part of it, 
I would, all of my work was basically done from my phone for m, m Rustics, which is why I was able to stay inside with the kids. But I was the one who built it on social media. I was the one who was doing the marketing. I was doing the books. I was taking the sales. Um, and I was like, you know, doing all of the customer communications um, and things like that and doing the scheduling. So that's what I do. I do all of the back work and then Mike takes care of doing the actual orders themselves. I set up everything else. So I could do it all from my phone, which is why I was always the one in the house with the kids. And when it came to YouTube, when I started to incorporate that a couple years ago, I was pregnant with Riker and I wanted, I've always watched YouTube, I've always loved YouTube, I've started several other channels, didn't really know what I was doing. And this time I did a lot of research before I started my Morgan Violin channel. And once I started it, I was doing, it was more so like pregnancy updates, some clean with me videos, my birth vlog, um, and then a lot of day in the life videos. So hence why I was including a lot of like day in the life of a working mom, because that was my normal life. And remember, so Kaya's five, so I had done this for, a, I had been doing this for about five years of being a working out of the house mom. So now, and this is like the biggest nutshell ever, but now I stay home and I quit my job. Back in May, I was able to quit my job because of Eminem Rustics and YouTube. My YouTube channel allowed me to stay home and I'm forever, forever grateful for that. And I love my job more than I've ever loved anything in my entire life. Um, it's from like where I'm from, it's very different. For those of you who want to start a YouTube channel, I do plan on doing a YouTube series eventually. I would like to get some more. I am such an analytics freak and SEO freak. I do so much back work and research when it comes to my channel. And I wanna share those tips and tricks with you guys someday and I want to do a YouTube series on it because I feel like so many um, working moms who want to be home because there is nothing wrong with wanting to work out of the home. I did find a lot of um, satisfaction and pride in my work that I did as an accountant. But my my personality and like my hopes and my dreams really changed ever since starting Eminem Rustics and seeing that grow. Being an entrepreneur is definitely addictive and is there's, it's so satisfying seeing something that you grew yourself become successful. And I started to crave that success. But a lot of failures were experienced along the way to get to that success. And I do wanna put that disclaimer out there. Like I said, I had several failed YouTube channels before this one. And there were several things along the way with Eminem Rustics where we totally failed. And we still struggle having it be a side business and having it be as busy as it is. Keeping up with our order quantity is overwhelming at times and we literally have to stop taking orders because it's it gets to be so busy so when i started my youtube channel i was working like i said an eight to five accounting job and i would manage eminem rustics all of that back work i just described to you guys it was managing that and I also edited videos. So I would film and edit videos and typically in the beginning I would film videos that took me less time to film because I didn't have a lot of time to film things. So if I did a clean with me, it was typically going to be on a weekend or it was going to be a nighttime clean with me. A lot of my videos ended up being like um, pregnancy updates and like quick day in the life, like at night. Um, you guys can still see those videos on my channel, my earlier day in the life videos on my channel. I intermittently uploaded to this channel but when I got pregnant with Riker. So I did like a pregnancy announcement um, and then did a couple of updates, but I didn't start consistently uploading until November of 2018. In February of 2019, when I had Riker, that is when I saw an explosion in my channel and it was because of my birth vlog. Um, but in also my day in the life videos. You guys love my day in the life videos and a lot of you guys have been here since I had Riker and I, again, am so grateful for my YouTube community. The people I have met through YouTube is hands down my most favorite part about what I do and motivating you guys as moms, as women, as human beings in this world is the most satisfying job in the entire world. I will say that right now. There is nothing that compares 
to being motivational for other people. Anyway, when I was working though, and I had Riker, there were times where I was staying up until two in the morning to get these videos up for you guys on top of the M&M Rustic stuff. So I worked around the clock. I worked so much and I worked so hard to make sure that my journey in both of my side businesses, one being YouTube and the other being Eminem Rustics, why I wanted those to be successful. After I had, I had Riker, I had a huge change of heart and I experienced a life changing, I had a life changing experience after I had Riker, which sounds super dramatic, but it's almost times like those that really change your perspective on what you're doing. So I had Riker and I, did not want to go back to work. It just it wasn't in me. I was really loving doing YouTube. I was really new into YouTube though, so I wasn't sure how to grow and make this, you know, something that could make me money. It was something that I did for fun, but also knowing it would be a business venture in the future. So, um, and then something happened. So I can tell you guys this. I can tell you that I was at a job that I loved so much and it was a family owned company and the people that worked there were all family members and I was basically the only other person besides them that wasn't family. But they treated me like family and I loved them so much. And basically that company was bought out and so there was another company like managing it and they ended up switching health insurance policies uh, to the point where it would have been like a $10,000 pay cut out of my pocket, like to pay for the health insurance. It was so significant and I couldn't justify it. No matter how badly I wanted to stay, I couldn't justify it. So I had to go out and find another job. Now remember, during this time, I really didn't feel like working anymore. Um, and I felt kind of burnt and I kind of had this mentality that if I worked for myself, I would never be replaceable because I am not replaceable. I'm not. Me as a mom, I'm not replaceable. So if I could find something where I could work from home, but also be here for my kids whenever they need me, that would be amazing. So that's where my mentality changed and I really dove into my YouTube channel and I pushed and I grew it and I worked really, really hard at it so that I was able to quit my job back in May um, when all of the COVID craziness hit. It was just, it was so much at the time and I loved, I got a new job and I loved where I was at and I had a really awesome group of people that I worked with. My heart just wasn't into it and when COVID hit, it made me realize it was time to make the jump into my YouTube journey. And if I put more time and effort into my channel, I would see more out of it. Um, and also COVID was really, really scary back in, you know, April and May. And I just felt like it was easier. So when daycare was closed, I could stay home. And there was nothing standing in my way of that. And I didn't have this guilty conscience for having to take days off from my you know, nine to five job. We're having to work from home for them because I, because I had to be home because daycare was closed or, or we were exposed or whatever it may be. So it was just easier for me to stay home. So I hope that answers some questions in regards to my YouTube journey and things like that. Um, now getting into what my routine looks like these days. I know this is a long chatty video, but I hope I'm answering a lot of your guys' questions that you have been asking me for the past few months and I haven't really answered yet. So I hope that in a nutshell kind of explains like my life situation. I know a lot of people were like, oh, you know, I really, I followed you because you were a working mom. Um, I, I love that you guys were following me because I was a working mom. I want you to know that I am still a working mom. I'm just, building my own businesses and I've worked really hard to do that and I want to teach you guys how to do it yourself. But I also want to show you guys that with my older videos that it's possible to work out of the home because a lot of you, I get it, that is 
you love your job and, and that is your source of income and maybe you're just not into building a side business and I am fully here to support you no matter what your decision is and I'm just here to motivate you. So whether you want to build a side business, whether you want to build confidence in yourself, you're having your first baby and you're going back to work and you want to see that it's doable, I'm here to provide you all, all of the motivation. So. Getting back to my routine, I now get up the same time. I get up at about 6.30, 7 o'clock, and I will get ready for the day. And then Kaya still goes to preschool. So with the COVID regulations, everything is still open here in my area. Kaya goes to daycare. Um, we did get COVID back in October. Um, so right now we have immunity to it for a few months at least. Um, Anyway, so Kai has been going to preschool and um, I keep Riker home with me during the day. I have activities set up for him. So as soon as we get up, I'll make breakfast and then we typically get dressed and we're out the door so that Kai can go to preschool. Once I get back home with Riker, I set up some activities and some more like learning toys for him. And I like to work on like like now I like to work on like words with him. So we'll do maybe like a book or some flashcards. I just take 30 minutes to really sit down with him and teach him some of those skills, if you will. And then he will have a snack at about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then I'll get into my emails for the day and really drill into those and um, start answering like all of the questions on m and Rustics and things like that and like going over the schedule and looking at some of my things like that. After Riker is done having a snack, he will go down for a nap, usually around 11.30 noon these days is what it's been. And he'll sleep for three hours, two and a half, three hours. He's a really, really good napper. If you have a toddler that likes to break out of the bed, I have a tip for you to lower that mattress and put a sleep sack on him. But I'm gonna get more into that when I cover like my like toddler must-haves and toddler routine, okay? So once he's done for a nap, that's when I'm really able to get the majority of my work done. Um, sometimes in the morning, if I'm up way before the kids are, I will sit down for an hour or two even um, and get a lot of my like back work and m and Rustic stuff out of the way for the day. So in the afternoon, I can focus on filming and editing and like marketing and all of the things. We also have a blog over on Eminem Rustics and a YouTube channel for Eminem Rustics where we focus on DIYs and tutorials, things like that. So I try to squeeze in at least once a week, I try to squeeze in doing a video or a blog post or something of the sort for Eminem on top of my YouTube channel and regular Eminem Rustic orders, which sounds like a lot, but it's a lot of balancing and it's a lot of to-do lists and writing things down. After Riker wakes up from his nap, he will have like a, heavier snack lunch um the like snack he has in the morning is kind of a lunch sized snack but i do feed him again when he wakes up and he'll have like a cheese stick with some animal crackers and like a halo orange that's his favorite thing so we'll do that and then i will like usually turn on a movie for him set up some toys in the living room and i will finish up my work that i'm doing for the day and then we get we get kaya around five o'clock after I pick up Kaya, I come home, make dinner, and talk with Mike about the M&M schedule, um, and then I kind of go over the materials. He usually calls me like on his way home at five, and he runs and gets the materials that he needs to get based off of the schedule for the day, and then he'll come home. We'll have dinner together as a family. We make sure we do that every single night. We have dinner together as a family. And then afterwards, he will go into the shop and I will hang out with the kids. And once it's time for bedtime, and i that's my most interactive time with the kids is between bedtime and, or between supper and bedtime. So I'll sit down with the kids and I'm more interactive with them. I'll ask Kai about her day and we'll kind of go over her like letters or numbers or whatever she was learning that day or things that maybe I think she needs to work on. Um, a lot of it lately has been manners and like learning how to um, be good, <laughs> things like that. Um, and then for Riker, it's just a lot of like, where's your belly, where's your eyes, where's your nose, where's your mouth, like the little things like that. And then I will put Riker to bed. We do bath night every other night. So Kai and Riker will take a bath. Kai likes to take a shower actually these days. She's really been liking taking a shower and mama's shower. 
So, um, she'll take a shower, Riker will take a bath, and then Riker goes to bed at seven, and Kaya will go to bed usually around like nine o'clock-ish is when she's finally settled down enough that she can go to bed. And we read a book probably like th two or three times a week. I don't read a book every single night just because sometimes they're just ready to go straight to bed and that's okay. And I'll talk about this more in my toddler routine, but I think that teaching flexibility and not having a set routine sometimes for kids um, can teach them to learn like coping methods and um, being more flexible like with their napping schedule or whatever it may be. So anyway, after Kai is in bed, I will come downstairs at nine o'clock and I will finish my editing for the day and publish any videos that I need to publish. And then Mike and I will go over a game plan usually as far as what the rest of the week is going to look like, if a project is taking longer than usual, if we're gonna need to rearrange some things, um, and typically during this time as well, I am answering more Eminem rustic messages. So I'm usually in bed by about 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock every night, depending on how much of a video I have to edit and publish um, and like how much is on the Eminem rustic schedule for that day or for that week. And then I started all over again the next morning. There are definitely nights where I am staying up later. There are definitely mornings where I get up earlier, just depending on what my schedule is. The most important thing that I want to drill into your guys' heads is writing down your to-do list for the week and giving yourself a general routine every single day. Um, I like to take my vitamins and my supplements and things like that right away in the morning because I feel like it gives me a really big boost of energy along with my coffee that I drink. Being motivational takes a lot of energy, physical and mental energy, so I make sure that I stay on top of my vitamins, my minerals and things like that um, just so that I'm on my top game and I drink a ton of water, a ton of water. When I drink enough water, I find that I have good energy and I do not get headaches. But creating that routine and writing down your to-do list, buy a planner, buy several planners if you need to. Um, writing it out is therapeutic and it has been scientifically proven to help you actually accomplish those things. I'm a huge believer in manifestation. You guys know I've talked about this a million times on my channel, on my Instagram. Manifestation is a real thing. Whether you write it out or you say it out into the universe, it will happen. You work hard for those things, you write those things down, you are more likely to achieve them and work hard to achieve them if you're writing them down and really making it a goal for yourself. So if you have these dreams and goals and aspirations to create a side business, you have a really good idea, but you don't know how to start it, write it out. Write out your ideas, Google your ideas, YouTube your ideas, Pinterest your ideas. Do all of the research behind what you want to do, whether it be starting a business or how to grow in your career. Um, and don't be afraid to leave a situation or a job if it is not what you are envisioning for your life, if it's not what you envisioned for your life to be, if you are unhappy, if you are questioning it, questioning it in any way, shape or form, change it. You have the power and the ability to change it. It's going to take a lot of training, mental training, if I'm being specific. You are going to need to tell yourself that you are capable of more and that you deserve more if you are not happy in where you're at. So anyways, all right. I have been chatting at you guys for about 20 minutes now, but I feel like this is the most important video that I have put out onto the internet in a long time, addressing a lot of your guys' questions in regards to like, how did you start YouTube? And how did you become successful in what you're doing? What does your routine look like? How do you balance being a mom? and doing all of your you know, side business work, how do you do it? This is how you do it. My biggest tip to you guys is to believe in yourself, set yourself, set yourself up a really good schedule, and buy yourself a planner. Like I said, buy two planners. I have a planner for YouTube and personal life and a planner for Eminem Rustics. And I just write out my day-to-day to-do -to things on there and it helps me so 
much. And having this overall dream or goal for yourself and knowing what that light at the end of the tunnel is will help you work towards it even more. So. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, this is something that I am so passionate about and I am here and I want to help you guys. So please, if you have questions, leave them for me and I will get back to you. I promise I'll get back to you and I will do my very best to help you in whatever venture you are in right now, whether it be just trying to be a stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom, you're starting up a business, whatever it may be. I hope I can offer you some advice or some insight or just get, get you in the right direction to get to where you're wanting to be. So. If you're new here, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. I actually do a lot of day in the lifestyle content and like motivational, like cleaning content, get it all done with me. That is what I focus on here on my channel are all of the mom motivation things and woman motivation things. This is kind of a side video for me, but again, like I said, I thought it was very important that I put these words into the universe and motivate everybody else. All right, you guys, I will see you on Sunday for a get it all done with me where I've got some cooking recipes like for like keto and also like normal and some cleaning and organizing and all of the mom things. My house was a disaster this week, so just stay tuned. I will see you on Sunday for that get it all done, okay? Bye, guys.